Back in 2021, the federal government set up some grants called the 5G Innovation Initiative Grants. And Nokia were one of the lucky recipients of one of these grants, together with UTS. Partnering with Nokia allows UTS to engage in real-world problems. By working with Nokia personnel, we are able to collaborate much more closely. Here at UTS, Nokia has built a private 5G network purely for industrial research. With Nokia having a presence at UTS Tech Lab, we started discussions around how can we collaborate and the idea of marrying together 5G and robotics. And that's where the idea for the 5G connected cobots came from. Cobots are an exciting form of robot which are designed to work directly in interaction with humans or in a shared space with humans. We want to use 5G connectivity to offload all of the sensor data from the cobot into the 5G Edge Cloud where we've got lots of compute power and we can do all the crunching we need to. The benefit of offloading the processor from the cobot is, is multifold. We don't need to invest on a, an expensive GPU that costs about $10,000 on the cobot. The power that it consumes on the cobot can now be saved for operating the cobot. And then by moving the, the compute to the cloud, we can time share the resource in the cloud across thousands of cobots and massive energy saving across fleets of cobots. Features such as high throughput and low latency are really critical for cobots, especially those that we want to work alongside humans. And that's because we really need to crunch a lot of sensory data, do it really quickly, and then send that information back to the robots in, in a short enough amount of time that it can react to the humans around it. We can't afford to have large delays between when a human does something in the environment and then a robot can then respond to that. And the super high bandwidth and low latency that our private 5G network brings, delivering up to two gigabits in both the uplink and downlink, enables the researchers to dream up exciting new use cases. This cobot in the UTS Algae Lab is helping to run the algae production facilities here. We also have an Industry 4.0 brewery, which is another testbed at UTS, which we're also looking into how robotics and associated Industry 4.0 technologies can be applied. What we've seen today is mainly 5G smartphones that do very little more than what your 4G smartphone did. But what we've been doing here with the Cobot project can be applied to many other industries. Drones, driverless cars, to augmented reality headsets for, for blind people in the future. Offloading the processor into the cloud is going to be transformative in the years to come, all enabled by 5G. The vision for the future is definitely one where humans and robots can work side by side. And as shown in our partnership with Nokia, 5G is a key ingredient needed to unlock that potential. By working with Nokia personnel, together we are producing innovation that delivers real outcomes for industry as well as for universities. Nokia has delivered over 500 private wireless networks globally. And these networks deliver ultra-reliable 5G connectivity. And what our activity here at UTS has done has really enabled Nokia to be part of the academic community here so that we can foster new ideas and help academia and Australia move forward with the adoption of 5G within industry.